What's up everybody, for today's video I'm going to be making a miniature orange almond cake just because it's one of my friend's birthdays and I asked her what she wanted to eat today and she said she was really craving a cupcake uh, and so I wanted to put my own twist on it and after thinking about what a cupcake was or is I came to the conclusion that it's basically a cake that can fit in a cup or a cake in the shape of, of a cup. So I decided to make an orange almond cake that's really really nice and moist. I know people don't like that word in this country but I think that's those are the best cakes and I thought the best way to keep that moisture in the cake is by adding an external sauce but you can actually choose how much you want to add into it and so this is really healthy really cheap to make and it's really really cool because you can make as many as you want but you can also make as little as you want which is great Pour coconut oil onto the inside of three ramekins and then add almond flour into 80 grams of coconut oil. As you can see, I've gone a bit over the 60 gram limit. Uh, if this happens to you, it's totally fine, especially because it's not going way over the limit, if you know what I mean. Once that's done, you can go ahead and give it a good mix. I tried not to make a mess, unlike how I did. Uh, but once that's done, you can go ahead and mix in your baking powder. After that, use a microplane grater just to get the rind of the three oranges into a bowl and then go ahead and add two eggs in and then you're going to want to whisk everything in just to incorporate air. basically you want to whisk until the mix has doubled or even tripled in size after that you can go ahead and add a bit of that almond flour mix give it a nice mix just to loosen up the whole mixture and then go in with the rest of the mix after this you can just keep folding like how i'm doing and then everything's ready to bake divide the mix equally into three ramkins and then bake for 40 minutes after it's done baking just let it be in the oven so that it cools and it doesn't really sink meanwhile you can work on your syrup as you can see i've added orange juice and honey uh, followed by some lemon juice into a saucepan and then boiled it until it has reduced once it's done and your cakes are nice and cool uh, i let mine cool overnight you can then go ahead and poke holes in them just so that you can add your syrup in don't worry you're going to be serving it upside down so people won't be able to see the holes then go ahead and spoon over your syrup into the ramkins this is going to be the moistening part or basically uh, add a whole ton of sweetness and some flavor into the whole cake use a knife to go around the edges and then turn it up upside down and then once that's done you can go ahead and enjoy your cake so here it is the final product by the look of it you can see tell that it's got a really really nice bake on it it's nice and level throughout which I think is really, really impressive just because of the fact that I expected it to be a little more rise uh, because of the baking powder, but apparently there was not. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact that it's well baked. Um, adding the syrup in it really helps because that helps keep it nice and light but also refreshing. Uh, it also adds that level of moisture that I, I talked about earlier. I'm going to taste and let you know what I think. This is so good. It reminds me just of my childhood because this is one of my favorite cakes to make, but obviously on a larger scale. It is not as as light as the other ones I used to have just because of the fact that those use flour, the, this used almond meal. Maybe it would be interesting to try it with coconut flour. But otherwise it looks really nice, it tastes really good. The addition of the lemon juice into the syrup really makes a difference. And I think adding the syrup is really cool just because in every bite that you, you take, you're going to have a nice moist bite. But also the fact that you can choose how much sweetness goes into this whole dish because you do have sweetness in the form of orange juice as well as in the honey that you add in so that, I think that makes it perfect for diabetics if they want to make it but otherwise I think this is a really cool dish I highly recommend that you give this recipe a go and if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up uh, I did just drop some syrup on myself which is really annoying If you know this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos made by me go to the subscription box and click on it it'll look just like this right here and if you have any thoughts please comment down below i want to read them i want to know what you think of this recipe are there things that you would do differently maybe add coconut flour instead of the almond flour or maybe even try grapefruit instead of orange or even lemon and add some poppy seed that'd be great anyway see you next week if you want to support our work, then all you got to do is go and click on this link right here. It'll take you to our coffee page and basically you can support our work uh, and if you do, I will make sure that your name goes at the end of the video.